Welcome back to Sunday Tea with Althea. Hi guys, how you doing? I hope you're doing as good as I feel. Yes, yes, yes. I want to take this chance to tell you today that we're talking about gratitude and thankfulness. Thankful. We thankful is hard. But before I start to talk, I'm going to take some time to get some audience up in here ready waiting for me because this subject this topic is one of the most this topic is a topic that will make your life or break your life and a lot of us don't realize that so i'm going to take the time to get some people out there to share this topic with me don't be scared you guys and i also want to say to some of the folks out there I'm not doing this for brownie points. And I'm not doing this to gain anything from anyone. I want you guys to be positive. I want you guys to be strong and I want you guys to feel the energy that I feel when you actually put your mind, your heart and your soul into something. So for all the people out there that find that this is something else that they think it is it's not okay so we're going to start to talk about gratefulness what a wonderful topic what a wonderful topic gratefulness is up until maybe 8 hours ago you guys i wasn't sure if i knew what the word grateful meant gratitude you guys believe it or not i know there's a lot of people out there i don't think you guys know what it means because i'm telling you for all these years i thought i was practicing it but guess what i wasn't either i don't know i didn't know what gratefulness is so you know what i did i decided to do some research today and yesterday and a couple of day and i decided to talk to a few people and ask a few questions and you know just to see how i feel and how it's how it's sitting on my chest but gratitude is so powerful so powerful you guys wouldn't even begin to know so together you guys we're going to take this journey into gratitude and gratefulness without gratefulness we cannot enter to the next level of our lives I don't know how many people believe that, but it's absolutely a hundred percent fact. We have to be thankful for the tiny things in our life to open up a huge window for the great things that are coming ahead. And if we don't open up our mind, if we don't be thankful for things be thankful we cannot enter into the next level of success part of thank you is success and also thank you in order i mean everybody on the planet here wants to be happy i know i want to be happy 90% of us want to be happy and rich i want to be happy i want to be rich but more than anything else what we all um have in common as humans we want to be happy so do we figure that being happy we figure how we're going to get to be happy it's being grateful and thankful and having gratitude is what's going to switch us into happiness hello guys out there stay with me here stay with me here guys success in order to be successful we have to learn faith so when we think of gratitude when we think of gratefulness there comes a thing called faith and in order for us to achieve anything in life we need to have those things we need to have gratitude we need to be happy we need to love but we need to be thankful 
for the small, tiny things in life. And when we learn how to do those things, when we actually learn how to do those things, you will notice the change in our life, in ourself. I don't come on here, you guys, because I'm trying to get brownie points, brownie points, should I say. I come on here because there's too much of us out there that is negative. There's too much of us out there that is not sharing. There's too much of us out there that's not working together. If we are not thankful and we don't have gratitude, we're not happy. If the world isn't happy, we create chaos. If there's chaos, nobody's happy. All of us are walking around in this world today and we're sad. If you look into another fella's face or just everybody on the street, kind of look like a zombie kind of. But none of us are saying, thank you God for that breath that we take every second. We're not saying thank you God for the strength that we have to walk to the store. We're not thanking God that we have food in the fridge today. We're not thanking God. We're not thanking anything. We just exist and we continue to exist and go on. And we don't understand why we can't find our place, whether it's in society, whether it's in our career, whether it's in our home, in our marriages. We can't find that place. Because why? We're not thankful. We don't have any gratefulness. With gratefulness comes a little tiny thing called faith. You guys, you know how much faith we really need in today's world that can push down a mountain or a brick door or a wall with the gratefulness and that tiny bit of faith. It's so tiny, you guys. I wanted to, I wanted to give you a mustard seed today. That's how small of a faith we need to have to move mountains. But without that little bit of faith and without that thankfulness, we cannot move a straw. Gratitude gives us strength. Gratitude gives us hope. Do you guys understand? So for me to come here, first of all, and sit here with you guys every Sunday, sipping my tea. By the way, you guys, I'm not coming off topics, but I'm going to cut you because I am so serious about sharing my positivity with all my family because that's what you guys are going to become out here. That I now have my own Sunday tea. See, I have my own Sunday tea cup. And I'm going to take a, a sip because I want you guys to really know that I'm actually really... I'm really having tea on Sunday with you guys. And I hope everybody that's sitting and tuning is having a nice cup of tea and start to reflect on their life. Start to reflect on the things in your life. You're, we're sitting here wondering, why is our life so stagnant? Why is our luck so down? Why is nothing going good for us? But you know why? Because we don't have any gratitude. We're not thankful for nothing. You know, right now, everybody out there should listen to what I'm saying and say, thank you, God, that I actually have a minute and a second to change things in my life right now. We got to be thankful. And I tell you, I didn't know what thankful meant, you guys. I'm telling you. I am one of the most selfish women because I couldn't. I couldn't find the grad. I couldn't find the gratitude. I couldn't find the, the thank you. You know, in my heart. But as I start to read and I start to read that being thankful and having faith will put you to another level in life that you did not expect. You need to know these things, you guys. And for the people that are out there today that is worried, confused, stressed, Angry, angry about somebody else getting success, angry about somebody else moving on, just damn angry altogether. You know why? That person gave God his grace and his thanks. He's thankful. He's thankful for the, the shoe on his feet, even if it's ripped. 
We sit here and we don't think, not just we, I, myself. I don't think. I don't think that every day I get up, I can walk downstairs or in my bathroom and grab myself a glass of clean water. What about the children in the other country? What about the children that go to bed every night without dinner, you guys? God, we have so much to be thankful for. I don't want anybody to sit out there and judge. Let's not judge. But I want you guys to take a stand. Take a stand like I took a stand. And I'm saying right now, I'm, th I'm thankful for the people that are listening to me right now that I can change some lives. I'm thankful for the things that I feel inside that I can change my life. I am thankful to know the Almighty God that he can change my life. So guys, let's not sit out here and not, let's not forget the small things in life that means the world to us. The tiniest of things. Help a fellow man. Give some advice. Be thankful for a compliment. Be thankful for dinner. Be thankful for everything in the world. At this moment, you guys, mm -hmm. this second, be thankful. Be thankful for the breath, the energy that we breathe right at this moment. As we're talking right now, there's people laying in the hospital. And you know what they're doing? They're saying, oh, Father God in heaven, I wish I'd had the chance to hear this conversation, to be thankful for my life. And at this moment, they don't have anything to hold on to because their time and their minute and their hour and the second, it's up. We are not dead, you guys. We have the chance to say thank you to God, to people around us. We have a chance to have gratitude for everything we do. And our faith, our faith has got to be we got to keep it because the time is coming. And the time that is coming, if you don't know your God, and if you don't know your faith, may God help us all. I'm not here to preach to you guys. I am here to share some positivity. That's all it is. It's positive. It's good, clean positivity. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. I felt gratitude today for the first time. Do you know why? I was sitting in my car. I first went for breakfast today. And I asked my husband, how do you know you, you're thankful? How do you feel? How, even if you say it, how do you know that you actually really feel it? You say it. I say it. I say, thank you. I'm thankful. Thank you. But how do you know in your heart that you actually, actually feel gratitude? You're thankful. I didn't know. I'm, I'm sitting here still trying to figure out. And at the same time, I'm saying to myself, I got to go online and I got to talk to these folks and I got to tell them, I got to talk to them about gratitude. But do you know when I know, you know when I feel gratitude, you guys? I felt gratitude when my husband opened his Facebook page. There was a lady that had cancer and she had cancer in the breast. And the breast was cut off and got infected. And all you could see is the disease and the plague around the breast. Torn, everything, and she's standing there. And that's when I said, thank you, God. Thank you, God. So every day that we are moving and we're pushing and we're carrying on and we're forgetting the good things in life, there's so much other people going through bad things. I'm thankful for my eyes because there's some people that don't have them. I'm thankful for my nose because I can smell. It's a pleasure. It's a gift. I'm thankful for my mouth because it tells you good things. It shouts out great things, positive things. I thank you, God. I thank you, God, for my heart because without my heart, I wouldn't be here to be talking to you. Oh, ho, oh, I'm thankful for my feet. People out there, please find out what you're thankful for and make it known. Go on your hands and knees and be thankful for those things. 
Because a lot of us, we take everything for granted. Not just you, but I as well take most stuff for granted. Gratitude is a strong word. It comes with a million different things, you guys. Gratitude comes with a million different things. Gratitude comes with happiness. If you're not thankful for anything, if you're not happy with anything, if you don't enjoy anything, you can never be happy. So if you have no gratitude, you have no happiness. If you don't have any faith, if you're lacking in your faith, you can't have gratitude. You cannot be thankful because you're lacking in your faith. We have to have gratitude. And faith, faith comes in the tiniest form that he asks us for. So very small. I want to tell you guys something out there today. No matter what you want to do in life, you've got to claim it. And I'm claiming it right now. I want, to be in, I want to empower people. I want to talk the truth within myself and out of myself. I want to empower people. So whatever you choose in life, you guys fight for it. Because you know what? God gives you a stand. And you're out there for something. He, you, everybody's made for something. And he puts us through turbulence to find those things. He puts us through constravacy to find those things. And you know what? We need to learn from the things we went through. I, was, I, I used to take people's hurt and I went over them and over them and over them and over them. And I didn't forgive. I can't forgive. No way I'm forgiven. And I thought I was hurting myself. You guys, if somebody has hurt you and you don't give the forgiveness, even if they don't want it, it hurts you. It takes away your happiness. It takes away the fulfillment. It takes away everything that God has put in front of it to you to make you achieve. Forgive, be thankful. Those are the keys to living. They're going to open up the door to success. Don't hold on to any grudge. Don't hold on to nothing. You have to let it go. Don't worry about the things behind you. Worry about where you're going. Push the door tonight and open it. And go straight for something new and better. Because God has it waiting for you. He's not lacking in anything. If he could create heaven and hurt in one day, he has something good for every one of us. We are made specially. Every last one of us, are we are made specially. I am no special than you. I might have a different job that he's given me, but I still have the same specialty as you. He loves me the same way he loves you. We need to be thankful. With thankful comes love. With love comes strength. With faith comes mountain. And we can move them. You guys on here, if you don't want to listen to what I'm saying, because you think I'm shooting it out of my whatever, be free to leave. But I'm telling you, I am on my way and nothing and no one is going to stop me because the almighty God said, it is time for me to move into a new direction. In Jesus name, we pray. So what I'm trying to tell you guys, please be thankful. Please hold on to your faith. Small, small as a mustard seed. Because he's not sleeping, you guys. He's watching. And we need to learn love. We need to learn now how to respect each other and how to love each other. We need to. We are falling back. We're falling behind. We need to. Every race in this world, we need to learn love. And with 
forgiveness, with being thankful, with having faith, with a little prior. Just got to pray. No matter how we look at it, we take it, we got to pray sometimes. That's just what it is. And I'm not telling anybody they got to be a phenomic, you know. Thank you, Mona. I'm not going to tell you that you have to be a Bible thumper or whatever. You guys, your faith will come in your own way and your own time. My faith has come in my own way with my own time. And everything that I choose to do right now, I have lived a hard life. I've fought hard for where I'm going to right now. And I continue to fight hard. But I am going to enjoy it. So I want the people out there that is listening to me. If you can't take everything that I've said, take some of it. Because I think most of it was positive. But take a little bit of it and enforce it into your life. Start today by being thankful. Start today by being thankful that I actually took the time out and did the research and I prayed amendously before I came on here. I prayed tremendously. Give me, thank me, thank me for what I've done. And I'm going to thank you guys for listening to me as well. There is great things out there for everyone. There's so much great things out there. But we got we to gotta dig deep inside to root those things up. I just know that at the end of the day, we are so blessed right now. The people that are watching me and me who is talking or I, it, I'm blessed. I am blessed to know that I have the breath and the energy to sit here and talk. And I give God thanks for today. And I'll give God thanks for tomorrow. Hoping, because tomorrow is never guaranteed. Never, never guaranteed. We don't know what's going to happen within the next 10 minutes of any of you for people out there looking or listening. But for the new people that come out, we're talking about thankfulness and gratitude. I got to take a sip of my tea because if I don't show you my cup. Sunday tea with Althea. You guys, it's Sunday tea. You guys, I'm drinking ginger. Ah, and ginger strengthens the heart. If you all don't know, ginger is a fantastic thing for the body. It strengthens the heart, takes away aches and pains. Thank you, Mona. I would. I, I'm. I'm gonna try to do some T-shirts and have some folks wearing the the T-shirts so we can do the movement. But back onto our conversation, guy. I mean, it's tea times with you guys, so I have to kind of take a small break. Who in my life look at instead gratitude? Mm -hmm. Oh my. First of all, I want to extend gratitude to my mother. My mother is a woman of nine children. And um, she did it by herself. Yes, my mother. Grat I want to give gratitude for my mother. Absolutely. She is tremendous. That woman is like a man. And girls or ladies, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm here to empower you ladies. Or I'm going to try anyways. Gratitude again to my husband. My husband for putting up with me because I'm a hard, I'm a hard nut to crack. Gratitude to my barbers because they've been a part of my life for a very long time. Gratitude to Mona. Gratitude to a young lady that's um, on the line right now. Michelle, I'm thankful for you. Lori Wills, I'm thankful for you. You guys are a big, big part in my life. It might be you guys were there a while ago, but you guys are still here because after 10 years, I still have you guys on here right now. So yes, I'm thankful for them. I'm also thankful for 
where my life is leading me right now. I'm thankful for the path that I'm taking. I'm thankful for my faith. I'm thankful for my faith being strengthened every day. Um, it's a hard thing. It's a hard thing to, it's very hard to, to work alone. The, the, the greatest reason why this Facebook Live has become a, a together thing is because we're, there's more than one. God is gathered. We can move mountain with more of us than less of us. So I can empower more of us than less of us. So if you want to take it in empowerment or you want to take it in God's term, where there is more gathered, there is more success. Um, I don't see anybody talking very much tonight, you guys, but, you know, input is great. Um, I don't know if you guys are listening or, you know, you're too um, concerned to say something, but your input helps me as well as my input. We, we, it's a, we have to be a team and we have to work together to, to keep things right. But I know in my heart that a lot of you will go to bed tonight and I'm hoping, and the ones that are thinking they're not going to, I'm hoping to God that all of us thought about something I said and we all get on our hands and knee and thank God that we actually have the breath that he has given us today. In that note, you guys, I'm going to have another sip because it is tea time with Althea. I want to maybe look at some of what you guys are writing. Mona says she can't wait for the my hoodie. Mm -hmm. Lena, let me go back up. Oh boy. Not very much talk today. I see a lot of kisses, love. Michelle, Sasha. Hi everyone out there. I want to acknowledge that you guys are out there. Hi Lori. Hi Keisha. Mona Lisa. Hi Carol. True word, sis. Thank you, Clement. Amen. Amen to you. Is watching Mona Lisa again. Kale is watching. Okay, guys, I'm just taking a few minutes to acknowledge everyone. I really appreciate and thank every single soul. That's another thank you because we're in the thank you thing. Um, we're here to thank each other, ever, uh, everyone around us, family, friends. We're here to um, gratitude, gratitude. Um, a lot of us don't, um, I can't speak for everybody, but I know, like I said, up until today, I didn't know the word, the word wasn't sitting in my, in my stomach. You know, it's like when you, you steal something out of a store and before you do it, you get that little tiny man, that little tiny man tells you, yes, I do. That little tiny man tells you, you're wrong. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not good. And you do it. So you get that feel to know that stealing is wrong, but that the thank you thing, you know, it's like I didn't, I didn't feel it. But once I saw that lady and her, her breast, I now know, and I now know I have to practice that in my life and I have to continue to practice it. And if I'm going to preach it, I have to practice it. So I'm ready to take off because that's long enough. I'm going to say thank you very, very much. Today was so many people today, and you guys actually engage with me. I wish you guys would talk a little bit more, but that's okay. Um, the saying goes, Oh, God bless, no man can curse. Remember that. Sunday tea with Althea. Bye, guys. <laughs>